Hello, Scorpio. I hope you're doing great. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Scorpio, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, let's do this. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for this sign of Scorpio. For Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life. And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Scorpio in their life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Scorpio, what's popping? Oh, you're not happy with somebody. And your sword is pointing down. You're showing up as the most severe queen of all queens, queen of swords. Not only that, your sword is pointing down and you are in the first position. Somebody pissed you off, got under your skin. And you really want to tell them off some more, but you're holding back right now from lashing out. The first person that comes to your mind, whether it's your friend, your soulmate, your relative, your coworker, yeah, uh, you're very unhappy with that person oh you want to tell them off they want to take action towards you though yeah they want to stand up to you hmm what is going on here a lot of stress between you two so for most of you this is your soulmate yeah a lot of unsaid words that need to be expressed for the two of you to understand each other better so there is a lack of proper communication between you two. You feel like this relationship is not working out for you. For some of you, it's your family member <clears throat> with constant drama and you're tired of their drama. Yeah. For most of you, it's your soulmate. <clears throat> for some of you, it's your family member that you're tired of. Because you always feel that they're draining you with their drama. Self-created dramatics in life. Yeah. This is you feeling drained. You feel very guarded emotionally towards this person. You know, show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life. And how is Scorpio currently doing <clears throat> on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you feel like you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work. This person wants to communicate with you, to clear the air with you. You're still in some capacity holding on to this person, this relationship, but you're not chasing them. Yeah, this is you not chasing them, not babysitting this relationship. Yeah, you feel toxic in this relationship. You see this? You feel like they're hiding things from you, like they're not being 100% honest with you about things. Yeah, look how beautiful your energy is. You are a queen of pentacles here. Mature, grounded, reliable in relationships. This person has very hard time expressing emotions, showing emotional vulnerability, um, communicating with you effectively, listening, apologizing for their mistakes. They have a lot of pride. Uh, that pride is getting in the way of relationships. <clears throat> you really um, want to walk away from this relationship you've tried before and you always um, somehow resolve things with them and you realizing that you always get the same results. You feel that you need to disconnect from this relationship. <clears throat> yeah. You feel tired. You feel drained. You feel unappreciated. Hmm. You're going through a lot, but look how strong you are, Scorpio. Let's see. Universe, please show us um, what's coming up for Scorpio. How is Scorpio currently doing on their summit journey? <clears throat> yeah, some toxic relatives. We all have them, right? But you have a bunch of them fighting, arguing, gossiping, uh, trying to pull you in, involve you in their drama, blame you for things you didn't do or say. 
be careful because you have family drama unfolding where they're going to try to drag you in. Yeah, don't let people drag you into their dramatics. That's their karma, their lessons to learn. You need to stand up for yourself courageously. Do not let people involve you. Do not take sides. Stay neutral. Yeah. Be wise. <clears throat> yeah, you see, you feel stuck. This is how you feel with these relatives of yours. Oh, my gosh. This is how you feel. You feel trapped in a toxic situation with certain toxic relatives. You see this? You feel like you can't get away from them. Yes, you can. You have to practice healthy boundaries for them not to cross those healthy boundaries. Just because they are your relatives, your family members, doesn't mean they have the right to mess up your life for you. You don't have to live with them or near them. You don't have to talk to them every day. Yes, you probably have to see them occasionally for like holidays maybe or family reunion or birthdays. Doesn't mean you have to go home with them and live with them, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have to deal with them on a regular basis. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune showing up here. You have karma to balance with these people. They're teaching you how to stand up for yourself, how to believe in yourself, how to forgive. Yeah, they're teaching you all those tough lessons in life. <clears throat> yeah, look how powerful you are. You just don't recognize your own power sometimes. You doubt your own power. Yeah. You are meeting somebody new. I love the new soulmate's energy. Wheel of Fortune with Hierophant. Beautiful. Somebody who is uh, spiritually advanced. Yeah. This is how you view your current soulmate that you've been dealing with. My least favorite night of all nights. Someone who's in and out of your life. Yeah. Knights don't know how to be present, how to be dependable, how to be trustworthy. They're not mature enough. They're showing up as a knight for a reason, not a king or queen. Um, they want to be a king, king of wands, which means that they want to act more responsibly, maturely. But will they? That's the question. Will they be able to? Yeah, this has been a toxic relationship for you. It drains you. You work with a bunch of toxic people too. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio that Scorpio is letting go of at this time that showed up as king of wands, wanting to take action. <clears throat> what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio? And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally? <clears throat> Knight of Wands, wow. Yeah, you see, they don't want to fight, argue. You guys have had many uh, disagreements, arguments, bickering showing up here. Yeah, they want to clear the air with you. But they're not the best communicators or the best listeners. They're holding on to you. Yeah, this, yeah, you see, this has been a toxic relationship. It drained you. It drains you. Yeah. Look at this. They have a lot of stuff that they need to address in their life. A lot of things. Yeah. Oh, again, the emperor. So this person has very hard time admitting to their mistakes, apologizing for them, um, initiating communication, listening, being an active listener. Um, hmm. They have a lot of pride. They like to have a cake and eat it too. They like to be in charge. Let's see, universe, please show us. Hmm. They can be ego driven. Um, hmm. Universe, please show us. Concentrating too much on material things, physical appearances, titles. Um, yeah. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio. Yeah, you see this? This person's pride can handle your rejection. The fact that you don't need them. You don't chase them. This person has very hard time showing emotional vulnerability. Uh, expressing emotions. Communicating effectively. They're waiting patiently to see if you're going to give in and reach out to them. Or if they need to reach out to you. This person really regrets uh, losing you. But they don't express it. You don't know how badly... They wish to make amends with you to have better understanding of what you're thinking, feeling, planning at this time. 
They worry you're going to be with somebody else. This person knows that they can't just give you the same behavior and think you're going to take them back. That they need to show you major changes in the behavior actions. They can be very stubborn, stuck in their ways. Um, yeah, this person uh, likes to learn the hard way. Yeah, very set in the ways. Their ego is in the way. Their pride is in the way. They love you deeply, though. This is them missing you, reminiscing of you. They're not happy about this disconnection from you, to say the least. In words, please show us um, hmm, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio. That Scorpio is letting go of at this time. Yeah, you see, this is them needing to show you emotions, feelings, and they recognize that. Yeah, they haven't been acting maturely whatsoever. They're showing up as their true energy being Page of Swords, uh, pretending to be a, an emperor. They want to rush back towards you with communication. They're so scared of failing. They're so scared that this is the end. Let me see one more for you, Scorpio. Ooh, uh, so new soulmate popping up for sure. You will decide, Scorpio, through your free will, who you feel is best suitable for you. Whether you want to give a new beginning to the soulmate you've been dealing with, if they prove themselves to you, that is. Or a new soulmate, a beginning, or be alone for a while. That's going to be totally up to you. I love these two cards together, the star and lovers. So, Scorpio, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate entering your life that just showed up as the lovers with the star card. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships Whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.